So, you show up at a furnace prayer meeting. Now what? Or any other prayer meeting. Maybe your mind's not quite ready to pray or you're not even sure what to expect. I want to give you some handy tools to help you engage in that time of prayer. Because prayer is not a spectator sport. It's a full contact event. And you'll find that you enjoy prayer a lot more when you engage in it. Body, soul, and spirit. So maybe you don't attend prayer very much, or even if you do pray a lot, but sometimes you can switch into autopilot or get distracted. I think you're going to find these tips really helpful. Now every prayer meeting is different, so you've got to be flexible. But let's just go through some of the ideas that might happen. So you show up. Maybe there's a time of worship. Great! Jump into worship. Worship is perfect prayer. Actually, when Jesus taught his disciples to pray in Luke chapter 11, the first breath of that prayer was worship. He said, pray like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. That's saying, God, you're awesome. It's worship. So jump in and use your voice. Lift up your voice. It doesn't matter if you sound good. It doesn't matter who hears you. It's not about that. It's about we're worshiping God and he is worthy of our worship. And he doesn't just want to hear the leader's voice. He doesn't want to just want to hear the people that sound good voice. He wants to hear your voice. So lift up your voice in worship. Now maybe there's a time of spontaneous song, a time where the prayer leader says, hey, just lift up your voice. You know, Ephesians 5.19 says this, sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God. It's actually a commandment that we're supposed to make our own melodies. I mean, it's great that we have these songs that other people have written that can help usher us corporately into the place of worship. But it's even better when we, from our own heart, from the depth of our own being, make a melody and make words of love and worship and adoration to God. He is worthy of it. Try it. Just try it. I want to encourage you. Try it. You, you'll be glad you did. And then ask God to help you pray. Isn't that what Jesus' disciples did? They came to him and said, Jesus... Uh, can you teach us how to pray? And he gave, did. He gave him a little framework. And I ask the Holy Spirit to help me all the time. I tell you, he wants to help you engage in the grace of prayer. Romans chapter 8 talks about it, that the Spirit himself intercedes for us when we don't know how. So ask God to help you. He wants to help you pray. He'll be excited that you gave him the opportunity. Now, for goodness sake, pray out loud when it gets to time to prayer and maybe there's a prayer focus given or just an opportunity to pray out loud take your turn don't just be a bystander the point of having prayer meetings is that we're doing it together and to do it together we all need to participate so your words again don't have to be perfect but lift up your voice from your heart in your own words and pray so that others can agree with you. And hopefully you're agreeing with other people's prayers as they pray as well. Now, remember who you're talking to. Yeah, you're in a room full of people. But ultimately the person we want to focus on is God. We're talking to Him. So try to refrain from uh, speaking to the people in the room about what you want to pray about. Just talk right to God. And don't feel like you need to preach to the people in the room about what you think is right or explain the details that God already knows. Just keep your focus right on God on the throne. Now I know it can be hard. Sometimes it feels like you're just praying to air. You know, you're just sitting in a room. And where is God? Well, open up your Bible to Revelation chapter 4 and look at that and read that and just see that scene where it describes the brilliance, the majesty, and the glory of God on his throne. That's present tense reality. That is the God we are praying to. Uh, trust me, if you keep your eyes and your focus on that, you will not get bored and you will not be distracted because God on the throne is not boring. And he is ultimately captivating. Just hear the thunders and rumblings and the voices coming from his throne as the angels and the saints cry, Holy, 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 he is awesome. And while you've got your Bible open, read it. Read it to yourself during the meeting or pray it out loud would even be better. Try to find passages that are relevant to what's being prayed for. And if you're like, well, I don't know where to look for prayer, well, open the book of Psalms. Hundreds of perfect prayers in there. It's a great resource. The Bible is the transcript of God's heart. If you want to know what God's will is, you can't go wrong if you use the scripture to address your prayers. Because you can't go wrong with God's heart. It is his will, what's written in there, and it will get an answer. 
We also have some handy prayer sheets that are usually available at our, our prayer times. They're also available on our website, just the New Testament prayers. They're great to apply to almost any situation in corporate prayer. You'll be blessed how inspired those prayers are and what great launching pads they are to teach you how to pray even in your own personal prayer time. But we're talking about corporate prayer. So one final thing, I do what I call echo praying when I'm in a meeting. It's just a, a little way that helps me track right with what someone else is praying without getting distracted because I want to agree with what's being prayed. You know, Jesus said that it's when we agree with one another in prayer that we get what we ask for. And so, say my friend over here is praying for God to pour out His Spirit on our campus. Well, I'm going to pray to myself, not really loud, but out loud, with my own voice. I'm engaging my body and my soul and my spirit just by using my voice. And they're, they're going, Lord, I pray that you pour out your Spirit. I'm going to say the same thing. Maybe not word for word, but I'm going to be like, Lord, yes, pour out your spirit, pour out your power, more of your presence at work on our campus. And I'm just tracking with that prayer. Now, I don't want to necessarily distract anyone else, but it's just one way that I stay right engaged exactly with what God is having that person pray for. And I'm in agreement with them. You'll be surprised. It's just a simple thing, but it really helps you stay tracking with what's going on in prayer. And you're going to find that you are really engaged and that time of prayer goes by a lot faster when you're totally engage with every moment of the prayer time. To me, that's the goal. I don't want to miss a moment that we're together talking to Jesus. So finally, whatever happens, keep coming to prayer. Keep trying and determine that you're going to grow in it. You want to grow in the grace of prayer. Don't stop. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. And be encouraged. You know, Jesus had to tell his friends a parable in Luke 18. And the point of it was to tell them to always pray and don't give up. Because he's a good God and he loves to hear us. And he always wants to answer us when we pray. As long as we don't give up, he is good. So there you have it. Practical tips when you come to prayer. Worship. Sing out loud. Read the word. Pray the word. Do echo prayers. And above all... Keep coming. Don't give up. I look forward to seeing you at a prayer meeting soon.